You can now publish to Instagram from the comfort of your Mac or PC. Hey, this is Scott Wyden-Kivowitz, and Instagram just announced a new feature that allows you to publish from mobile web, meaning in either the uh, mobile Chrome browser or in mobile Safari browser on an iPhone, on an Android, anything like that. And there's a way to emulate uh, to emulate a mobile device for free on a Mac or PC using Google Chrome's the the free browser. And you're basic basically going to be using the developer tools that are available in this free browser. And in this video, you are going to see how that is done for free and easily. So let's go to the screen so you could take a look. So here we are, and I am on my Instagram, and uh, as you can see right now, there's no way to publish. I can just view photos, I can like and comment, I can do the normal things that I could do, except I can't publish a new photo. So what I want to show you is that you can actually do this from Google Chrome, which is the browser I'm in right now, except you have to emulate a mobile device, which is definitely possible and free to do in Chrome. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the menu in Chrome and go to More Tools and Developer, Developer Tools. And what that's going to do is going to bring up a whole bunch of stuff that's going to look super complicated and technical for the average person. But what you'll notice is right here is a little thing that looks like a iPhone and a iPad or a mobile phone and a tablet. But before we click that, what I want you to do is go over to this other menu right here where it's Customize and Control Dev Tools, click on it, and the dock side, you want to switch to Dock to Write. And then it's going to bring it over and sort of do a little split screen type window. Then go up and just click that Toggle Device Toolbar. And as you'll see, it now switched to a mobile device. And you can click on it and switch it to a Nexus phone, an Android phone. You can switch it to an iPad. Whatever you want to do, you can switch it to those. I'm going to do iPad uh, 6 uh, Plus. Uh, they don't have the iP iP I'm sorry, the iPhone 6 Plus. They don't have the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus in here yet, but it's pretty much the same. But what you'll notice is now there's a new button here to take a picture. But really, it's not going to take a picture. It's going to upload a picture. If I click it, it's going to want to take this and, and have me browse and look for a photo. So I could go ahead and do that. I'm not going to do that right now. I'll just, I can go to pictures and, and see what's available, whatever. Uh, but I'm not actually going to publish because I don't want to go to my actual Instagram, but I wanted to show you that it is possible. Now, again, I can go ahead and I can switch this to a, an Android phone and uh, I'll go to the Nexus 5X. So you see it's a completely different look. And again, uh, so we got menu back and the normal sort of Android type screen. And then of course I can go ahead and I can choose a photo again. And again, same thing if I want to emulate an iPad, same exact thing. It just emulates what it, this would look like on an iPad. So you can now fully legally <laughs> or not against Instagram's uh, terms, so to speak, emulate uh, and publish from desktop. Now there are workarounds there are software uh, to actually publish to publish uh, against Instagram's APIs from the web. There's also a, a Lightroom plugin that allow you to do this called LR Instagram that is free. There is also uh, you can use tools like Buffer or CoSchedule or any of these to to send to your phone or you can use Lightroom Mobile to do this and quickly share to Instagram. You, from your desktop to your mobile. So there are ways to do this otherwise, but now there's an official way to do it thanks to Instagram's feature to publish from mobile web to Instagram. So I really hope that you enjoyed that tip and I hope that you take advantage of what Google Chrome has to offer you, offer to you because Instagram has now made this uh, free for people to do um, and they made it easier for people to do at least on a mobile device it's a little bit more work on desktop but as you can see it's definitely possible it's definitely easy and once you get a hang of it it'll just become second nature and maybe in the near future they'll also add this feature natively on desktop too thanks for watching <music>